Today we look at a very interesting fact about Sudoku puzzles. I'm first going to describe this fact and explain how it works. Then we will do a puzzle and use this fact to find a number. This is puzzle number 96 from Sudoku to Go volume 134. If you like these videos, please click like and click the red subscribe button. You can also click on the bell icon to be notified every time a video is published. You can also learn more about techniques and patterns used on this channel at sudokuprimer.com. There is also lots of other Sudoku information out there. Well, let's talk about this Sudoku fact, and I call it um, the Fistomaphil observation because there's no name for it that I know of. It was described on a forum on the Logic Masters website by username Fistomaphil. There's a link to this forum on, in the description below this video if you want to go to look at it. This observation is as follows. Here is a blank Sudoku grid with some cells, some colored cells. And what this, what this user observed was that if you list all the numbers in these red cells, and there are 16 cells, and then if you list all the numbers in this blue ring, in the cells in this blue ring around box 5, this list and this list will be identical. Every number that's in these 16 cells in these red cor in these corner cells that are red are the same numbers in these blue cells in this ring. Now, if you if you want to prove that, pick up any Sudoku puzzle that you've completed and uh, try it out. Here's one that's completed that I want to use as an example. What I'm going to do is look at all 16 of these numbers and I'm going to circle them in this ring. Okay, so like there's a 7 and there's a 7 right there. There's 8, 1, and 4. So there's an 8, there's a 1, and there's a 4. Uh, now there are in these in this corner there's a six, nine, three, and five. Six, nine, three, and five. Here we have four, two, six, seven. There's a four, there's a two, there's a six, there's a seven. And four numbers left, one, six, nine, three. One, six, nine, and three. And look at that. All 16 of those numbers that are in the red cells are also in these blue cells. Isn't that amazing? It's pretty interesting. Now we're going to, as I solve this puzzle here, we're going to use this observation to find a number. So I'll just start filling in numbers here. One, one, one. There's a one right there. And when I get to a certain point in the puzzle, I'll, sh I'll show you how I find a number using the uh, Fistomaphil observation. Here we've got a, um, a wall. So we got a three here, three, three, one here, one, one. So we have one, three twins here. And we also have a one and a four there and a one and a four there. So we have one, four twins here. Okay, just want to point those twins out. One, three twins, one, four twins. All right, there's a four that goes right in the middle box there. 
four, four, four. Four, 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 and there's a four there, so that's a four. With that four, we can put the one in, because we found the one, four twins there. We also have a seven here, seven here, so that's a seven. Now we've got a five here, ghost fives here, so five here, ghost fives here, so that's a five. All right, now box one, we've got a five, eight, and a nine in row one outside of this box. And so these are five, eight, nine triplets. There's a nine there. So we can put the nine in and there's a five there. So five and an eight. That leaves six and seven in row in box one here. And we've got a seven right there. So we can fill those in. All right, now we've got a three here, a three there, so that's a three. Now we're missing five and six there. There's a five there. Okay. All right, now we're only missing six, eight there. There's an eight. Okay, so we got one, three twins here, two, three, four, two, seven twins there. All right, let's see, we got seven here, seven, seven, so that's a seven. All right, we're getting close to the point where we can use the Fistomafil observation to find a, a number here. We've got an 8 here and an 8 there, so that's an 8. Let's see, what are we missing here? We've got a 1, 6, 9. We've got a 6 there, so that can't be a six. There's a one and six, so that's a nine. A six goes here, and the one goes there. Okay, for that column. Okay, so we have ghost sixes here, six there, six there, so that's a six. All right, and column one here, We're missing eight and nine, and there's a nine there now. Okay, now at this point, we have all the numbers filled in here, here, and here. We're missing three numbers here, but we know what they are. Five, eight, and nine. So five, eight, nine. We can't solve any of them, but we know what those three numbers are. We have in this ring here, we're missing four numbers. Now let's see if we can find out what those four numbers are. Okay, we've got a, um, let's, let's look at just uh, one number at a time here, going one through nine, and we'll find out what these four numbers are. We've got one, two, two ones, in these corners we got a one here and a one here so ones are done we don't have we know neither none of these are ones okay we got a two here so there's only one two and that's right there so twos are done okay you've got a three here So only one three. We don't have a three in here yet, so we know there's a three missing. There's one three missing. And I put a number by it because this could very well be two of the same number or, 
or more. So I'll put a number by each one as I find them so that we know how many there are. Okay, fours. There's one there. So there's only one four, and there's the four right there. So fours can't, can't be a four here. Fives, one, two. So two fives. There's a five, there's a five. So fives are done. Six, there's one there, one there. Okay, so there are two sixes. There's one. There's only one six in here so far, so we know there's one six missing. Okay, sevens. There's one, two, three sevens. One, two, there are only two in here so far, so we know one of these is a seven. Okay, eights. There's no eight there, no eight there. One, two eights. There's an eight there and an eight there, so we know that's not an eight, so it must be a nine. Let's see the nines. There's no nine there. There's one there, one there. So there are two nines. There's one of them. So one of these is a nine. So we know there are three, six, seven, and nine missing here. All right, let's look at those. These can't be a six, and these can't be a seven. I've got a nine, let's see, nine. Nine there, and nine there. So one of these is a nine. So we have three, six, seven, nine. Okay. But the threes, let's see, we got a three here, three here. So we have one three twins there. We got three and a three. So these one of these has to be a three and one of these has to be a three. So using double row elimination, we know one of these is a three. So we got one three twins here and threes here. So using double column elimination, we know one of these is a three. So that can't be a three. So we have three, six, seven, nine. Oh, we have three, six, nine triplets here. Three, six, nine. So we know that's a seven. So using this uh, Fistomefo observation and then uh, finding what four numbers go here and then narrowing down those numbers, we found three, six, nine triplets here. We found out that's a seven. Okay, so now let's see. We've got a seven and nine there, nine, nine, seven. Oh. Okay, so we have seven, nine. Now that we've filled in this seven, we have seven, nine twins here. Seven and nine. Seven, nine, seven, nine. So we have seven, nine twins there. Let's see if we can... What are we missing here after we found these seven, nine twins? We're missing two, three, six, eight. Two, three, six, eight. Two, eight. Three eight, two three eight, two three, two three six. Oh wait a minute. Okay, there's a six. Neither of these can be a six, and there's a six there, so that can't be a six. So that's a six. And with that six, we got two sixes. Six is here already, and six there, so that's a six. All right, and. Uh, And with the six, six there and a six there, that's a six right there. Okay, so once we found that seven, we we can start finding numbers again. Let's see. Oh, these are three and nine. We got a nine there. Okay, and now we're missing two and three there. We can put those in. 
All right, in box A, we got a two here, two here, three here, three here. So two, three twins there. That makes these five and nine. So that's got to be a nine. It's the only number missing in that row. So that makes this a five. Makes that a five. And then we have eight and nine there. With the nine there, we can solve them. All right, now in row six here, what are we missing? One, five, eight. One, five, eight. There's a one and a five there, so that's an eight. There's a five there, so that's a one, and that's a five. All right, and then an eight here and an eight here, so that's got to be an eight because of well, two reasons. We've got eight here, eight here. We also have seven, nine twins there. So that's an 8 right there. That leaves 7, 9, and 1, 2, 3, 2, and 3. Two, three twins there. So 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. All right. And with this one here, we can solve the 1, 3 twins. Now we can solve the 2, 3 twins there. And the two, three twins there. All right. And the seven and nine we can solve. And this was a two and a seven. All right. We've only got three numbers left. Two, three, five. Two, three, and five. There's three there, so that's a three. There's a five, so that's a two and a five. All right. And that's it. So using this new observation that we found, we're able to find this seven here. And uh, then after that, we were able to find the number, the rest of the numbers pretty quickly. So there you have an explanation of what I call the Fistomaphil observation and how it works and an example of how you can use it. I hope you found this interesting and maybe useful when you solve Sudoku puzzles. Well, thanks for watching. Happy holidays to everyone, and I hope you, um, I see you on the next video.